Louis. How's it going guys? John here and Neeson here and Louis here. Louis is the focal point of this video. Louis is a St. Bernard Great Pyrenees Mastiff mix and I'm gonna just show you guys how I groom him totally blind. Um, I use a slicker brush. So basically a slicker is a brush that has tight little groupings of pins that are slightly angled and they are really good for collecting undercoat. They're pretty sharp. So basically you just want to run it over the dog's body. I don't usually have any pattern or any order of body part when grooming a dog of this size because of how big he is. It doesn't matter really as well because of how much hair he has no matter where you brush him you're going to get undercoat especially during this time of the year so louis is my girlfriend's uh dog and they're going to be moving in with me and niece with neeson and i so neeson where's neeson here's neeson neeson just had his turn neeson inside neeson is a guide dog he's four years old he is my third guy dog. Him and Louie get along great. They play together during the day and they go to the park together and play every day and so guide dogs obviously have a good disposition they have to. St. Bernard's are also very 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 good natured He's primarily St. Bernard with some great Pyrenees and Mastiff in there for good measure. So I'm going to collect all the hair I take off him and then show you guys at the end. Oh, hi. So you guys can see how much hair comes off him. So his name is Louis. I think I said that already. And my girlfriend is very, very conscious of making sure Louis is well looked after so for a dog of his size he is very active he goes on trail runs with his mommy and she has done a fantastic job of socializing him when you have a dog that weighs 120 pounds you need to be able to control them because if you cannot control a dog like this, if you let them dictate, you are in a world of trouble. This dog weighs as much as Colleen, my, my partner. Anyways, yeah, so we live, we will be living in a small apartment, my apartment. So um, some people are gonna be like, oh, well, it's, it's cruel to have two dogs in a small apartment, especially when one's the size of a house. Um, my response to that is it doesn't matter what size of a house or apartment you live in if you don't exercise your dogs enough it doesn't matter it, like it's half as the one six of the other these guys get more exercise than the vast percentage of dogs get as I said they go to the dog park once sometimes twice daily Colleen takes Louie on trail runs as well often and there's a nice big dog park, like a 10 minute drive that we go to on weekends as well. So they get plenty of dog exercise, of, of exercise and out of the house time. All right, if you have a big house and a big dog that never gets out of that house, then what's, what's the difference really? So as you can imagine, there's a lot of undercoat. Hi, mister. So Lou is a leaner. He'll just come up and lean on you. Jeez, buddy. And he pees. Um, 
like a freaking fire hose. I'm not used to having a big dog like this, so when I take him for a pee, it just <laughs> just keeps coming. So as you can see, he tolerates this absolutely like no problem whatsoever. Oh, dog hair in my nose. So when you have two shedding dogs, it is crucial to vacuum your house often, brush your dogs often, because if you don't, you're ankle deep in dog hair in no time. So we have a vacuum and a Swiffer. So for those of you who don't know what a Swiffer is, Google it. They're pretty handy. Mm -hmm. So Louis is five. Uh, it's <laughs> let me get that tail, but Louis is five years old. He's not a big fan. Huh? He he just left. Louis, come here, bud. Okay, we'll leave your tail alone, and we'll come back to that some other time. So he's not a big fan of getting his tail done, so we, we won't do that right now, because he's obviously not a fan of having his tail brushed. It's okay, there's plenty of other areas of, of him that we can brush. He's five years old, and my... My girlfriend also has a Great Dane. He is not going to be living with us. He's 10, 11, almost 11. He lives with Colleen's aunt on a farm. So when she moved the last time, she moved earlier this year, the place where she was living wasn't big enough to have a Great Dane and a St. Bernard. So Rufus, is at her aunt's house. So I'm on the 12th floor. For those of you who cannot see, uh, I overlook a park, a nice children's park. There's a hockey rink set up here for winter. Tennis courts, play, play equipment for kids. Holy doodle, buddy. You are shedding a ton of hair. So it, it does take some time to groom both of these guys. But again, like, very, very worth it. to do this every other day or every day even and it's a great way to bond with your dog as well it's also great to be hands-on with your dog in order to maybe detect abnormalities on their body that you might not otherwise detect like I have found ticks on Neeson while grooming him and I would never find them otherwise because I can't see him Hey buddy, we'll do, do another couple minutes. So I could pretty much do do this for an hour on him, and I would still get hair out. But I'm just gonna do another couple minutes just for the sake of this video and his patience. He's being very patient with me. Let me do do this. Hi, right, buddy. Just do your withers here, shoulders, and we'll call it a day, okay? Side of your neck, your beautiful big neck. All right, just let me show you his face. You can see how cute he is. So this is Louie. Mm, hello. Hello. Okay. 
go inside. Okay, don't go inside. So this is Louis. See, with Neeson, I can just nudge him in the direction I want him to go and he'll go. But with this guy, he weighs twice what Neeson weighs. So can't really get away with, with the doing that. Gotta nudge a little harder. So this is the hair I took off of Louis today. One grooming session. Pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> Cheers, guys.